Hello, my name is Jacqueline Ho and welcome to your third trimester lower body and core workout. First things first, how are you doing? <laughs> Tell me all the things I want to know. Are you sleeping okay? Are you not sleeping okay? <laughs> because honestly, I have some good nights and then there's some nights I'm like wide awake just thinking into the abyss. <laughs> I am currently 32 weeks pregnant, felt like I blinked, felt like we're here, and now we have eight weeks to go, plus or minus, who knows, right? Baby will appear when baby decides to appear. <laughs> so it's gonna be a journey, and I'm really glad that I am able to still film for you today. So for today's workout, all you're gonna need is a set of weights. I'm using about 15 pounds. You actually can go without weights for this workout if you feel like doing body weight, but if you wanna have a challenge nearby, feel free to have it. Easy to pick up, easy to put down. So no obligations here, okay? We're just we're going by feel. The second thing that you will need though, not optional, is a booty band. This is one of my favorites. It's from Pop Flex Active. It is fabric, it has little grippies, it stays on, it's awesome. We're gonna be using that in today's workout. And that's it, that's all you need. And yourself, don't forget to bring yourself. <laughs> when you're ready, we're gonna hop on the mat, review these exercises, and then we'll get started. All right, friends, let's get into it. We have four exercises we're going to demo today. So first things first, we're starting off with our optional weighted exercise. I'm gonna show it to you without the weights. It's just a side lunge to a reverse lunge and we're gonna be alternating sides. So first things first, with that side lunge, you're gonna take a step out to the width of your mat and then you're gonna go ahead and bend this outer leg, bend that knee, Get this knee in between the toe and the ankle. Sit those hips back, stand back up, and then you're gonna give me one lunge, but I need to scoot over for a little bit. <laughs> one lunge, and then right back up. Same thing, other side, stepping out, coming into that side lunge, standing up, same leg, reverse lunge, and back up. Really good for the quads and working that hip mobility. Now with that side lunge, a couple things that I see, so let's work on this real quick, is a tendency to buckle this knee in. So instead of coming into this position here, I see this position. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna really put stress on the knee, it's gonna put stress on the ankle, and you can just see that, you know, this might be hurting the joints more than working any of the muscles, right? So what you wanna do is really make a conscious effort to press that knee out, not too much, right? Because you can totally overdo it. You wanna be right there in alignment with the foot bed. The other thing I see here too is coming back and being like, boop, boop, <laughs> and being like, I'm good. I want you to sit back, sit it all the way back, as far back as you can get at this point in your pregnancy. A good tip to kind of figure out where you need to be is if you're near a couch or a chair, sitting back, making sure you can tap that butt, standing up, tap that butt, and be like, okay, that's how I know I'm getting far back enough. Because we really, really wanna work those glutes, and it's actually a really nice hip opener, hip stretch at the same time. Cool, okay. Next thing, go ahead and grab your bands. Oh, actually, real quick, with that movement, if you are doing it with weight, you're basically just gonna do the same thing. Hold the weights forward, one little side lunge, flip it, and then one reverse. Sorry, I just hit the couch, so I couldn't do full range of motion. But you get the deal, okay? You can do one weight, you can do both weights, or you can do no weights, and that's totally fine. Okay, now moving on we have our booty bands. We're gonna keep this on for the next few exercises. So I want you to take a seat, put this on, or you can do it from standing. Wherever you are, I just wanna make sure that we don't tip. <laughs> Not a good time to tip over while we're putting on bands. Our next exercise is a lateral banded walk with a squat. So feet are a little bit more than hip width apart. You're gonna go ahead and come down into that squat. Give me two nice big steps and then lift up right back down. Two steps and then stand up, squat down. And that's it. You wanna make sure that there's tension on this band the whole time. If your band comes down, that means there wasn't enough tension. <laughs> so you wanna make sure we pull that up and that's where we're getting the work in the side of our quads. Cool? Cool. 
All right, our next exercise, we're gonna keep those bands on. Yay! <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and come all the way to the ground into a tabletop position, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Now this is the exercise, we're gonna only stay on one side, and then the second round, we'll move to the second side, okay? So this is part core. You want your hands to be under your shoulders, stacking those joints, and then I want you to really engage that core. So instead of arching the back, kind of hanging out here, I want you to tuck that pelvis a little bit and draw the belly button to the spine. From there, you're gonna lift one leg, you're gonna give me a little tuck in, and then a big push to the sky, extend that leg for a hamstring curl, and then right back in. Lift, out, curl, and in. And notice here, I'm trying to keep that back thigh parallel to the ground. That's how we get that nice little booty work, and then that big hamstring curl, and then action back in. Go ahead and switch to the other side. Same thing, tuck, reach, extend, and back in. And you wanna notice here too, because I'm working the core, I'm not gonna let my arms sag, I'm not gonna come down to the other side, I'm not gonna compromise any other part of my form. I want to keep everything strong and stable, okay? So that is that. And then our last exercise, go ahead and take off your bands, yay. We're coming into a side plank hip dip to a rainbow reach. So, options for our side plank. First one, elbow under shoulder, knees are in line with our hips, and we lift up. Option number two, staying on those knees, popping up onto the hands, just like that. And then if you feel comfortable, maybe you can extend one leg, maybe you can extend both legs. But at this stage in our pregnancy, there's a lot going on. So there's a tendency as you increase the weight of your body lifted in that side plank, you might experience coning or doming. And basically what that means is the abs are trying to overcompensate. There's a lot of intra-abdominal pressure and you might just need to take it down one step to make sure that we protect um, our core muscles. So you'll know what coning or doming looks like when right now it's kind of like, for me, this like more soft, rounded shape, and when it domes, it comes more like that. So it literally looks like a dome. And you'll know, it'll feel a little bit too stressed. So I wanna make sure that you choose the one you want to choose. Anyway, choose your place. <laughs> all we're gonna do is one hip dip, so hip comes down and up, and then reaching all the way above our head. Down, up and then reach. And this is gonna be really, really nice to work on our transverse abdominals, that deep, deep core, and then also some oblique work as well. So take whatever level feels good for you at this point, and that's all I have to say. <laughs> grab a sip of water, grab what you need, and then let's get going. Okay, before we get started with our warm up, I just wanted to explain how the workout works today. We are gonna be doing 90 second intervals for each exercise. Now with each 90 second interval, I encourage you to listen to your body to do however many reps it feels good. I recommend somewhere between eight to 12, maybe 15 if you're feeling really strong. So anywhere between eight and 15 reps, and then using the rest of the time in that 90 seconds to take a break, regroup, put on the bands or take off the bands or whatever there is. If you're feeling really strong, you can go time-based, like let's say for our banded um, leg workouts, or if you're like, I feel good, I just feel like I wanna just keep moving, keep going. You can use the whole 90 seconds, maybe using like 85 seconds so you have time to transition. So. I'm gonna leave that all up to you. I, as well, I'm just gonna go by feeling how I feel today is different how I, from how I feel another day. So that is your guideline. And then we're gonna be doing this whole thing three times. In between each set, we're taking a one minute break. So that is all you need to know. Other than that, I'm here for you. If you have any other questions, pop them down below. But pregnancy is all about 
listening to your body, listening to what you need, listening to what you feel. Some days we are chill, sometimes we are crazy. So I am giving you that autonomy, that flexibility, and I hope that you are able to listen to your body and do what feels the best for you, okay? Cool beans. All right. Let's go ahead and come to our warm up. Let's go ahead and step to the top of your mat. Big inhale, reach those arms up. And exhale, hands come down. Good, two more, inhale, reach. And exhale, down. One more, inhale, reach. And exhale, down. Good, roll those shoulders forward a few times. Good, roll those shoulders back. To keep that heart nice and open and then I want you to step your feet out to the width of your mat maybe letting those toes peel off and those hip or those heels stay to the center and then you're just gonna go ahead and lower yourself down as much as you can find those hands to the mat and then if you can step it back into a tabletop position or just get hair however it feels comfortable. Because the other day in yoga, they did a forward fold and I was like, nope, not today. <laughs> the belly's in the way. Good, from here I want you to do some cat cows. Inhale, belly drops, look up. Exhale, chin to chest, round it out. Couple more just like this. I'm trying to mobilize the spine. Inhale, look up and exhale, round. Good. And then when you're ready, go ahead, bring yourself to neutral spine, bring yourself to stillness, and then go ahead and take that right leg up to the sky, kind of like what we'll do in our tabletop. But this time I want you to make some nice little hip circles, hips coming out and around. Starting to pair your movement with your breath. So if you can, maybe inhaling as you come out, exhaling as you circle in, reverse directions. Or maybe one breath, one circle. Whatever you got, it'll work. Good. And then go ahead and bring that leg all the way back to the sky. And then step that right foot to the outside of the right hand in a low lunge. You're just gonna give me these nice little rockers, opening up those hips a little bit. Good. And then maybe starting to increase the range of motion between the hip and the hamstring. And then we start to extend the leg a little bit. Good. And then when you maybe find your full range of motion for that hamstring, take a moment pause if that feels comfortable. If you're feeling like belly's in the way, which I'm feeling like it's almost there, <laughs> you can hang on to a couch. If you have yoga blocks, you can hold on to that too. Whatever is comfortable. It's such a changing time. Everyone is different. I really want you to listen to your body. And what feels good this week? Maybe dicey next week. So <laughs> giving ourselves the flexibility for that. Go ahead and step it back into all fours, and then go ahead and give me some C curves, side to side, wagging our tail. Good, mobilizing through the spine laterally. Should feel good. <laughs> and then bring yourself to stillness. Let's do the other side. Left leg comes up to the sky, and let's make our big hip circle.
into downward dog. Nice little stretch. Pedal those heels up and down a couple of times. into our reverse lunge. Shoulders back, feet hip width apart, ready, let's go. Take it out all the way to the side, standing up, and then taking it into that reverse lunge. And I gotta scoot forward just a little bit, move these weights right here. Good. Step to the side and step back. I have to step even further forward. <laughs> oh, ah, so confused. <laughs> One side lunge and then same leg reverse lunge. Take your time and again, you're aiming for about eight to 15 reps per side. So maybe in this one, because it takes a little bit of time, you're gonna hit about the eight, maybe 10 marker, whatever feels good. Again, you can go for time if you'd like to. You don't have to go by reps if it's too hard to count like too many things to keep in the brain. Like right now I have lost count of my reps because I'm hanging out with you, so I don't know where we are. <laughs> but we have about 30 seconds left. Um, <laughs> I don't know why, but I keep getting myself confused. I'm just like, where am I? Who am I? It's starting to happen, 15 seconds. I'm gonna call it there and start to prep for my bands, you wanna put those bands on, and we have our um, booty band squats to sidewalks. All right, coming to that side, let's go. Low squat, two steps, and then stand up. Squat, two steps, and stand up, and that's it. I love this one, it's straightforward. I love working with bands especially for booty, for glute work. I just feel like it gets all the things done. <laughs> so, third trimester, <laughs> we're doing it. I don't know about you, but there are, for me, I felt like I knew when I was in first, I knew when I was in second, and I knew when I was in third, because first was like nausea central, right? Second was like energy central and I was feeling really, really good. That's where I filmed a bulk of these workout videos. And now that we're truly in third, <laughs> my lungs are compressed. It's hard to breathe. <laughs> baby's taking up more space, but that's okay. That means baby's growing, it's a good thing. We like that. Good friends, we have about 20 seconds left. <sighs> Woo! and I think I'm gonna call it there. We're gonna go ahead and come onto our hands and knees and come into that hip, that knee lift to our hamstring curl. So when you're ready, hands on their shoulders, knees under your hips, and go ahead, lift up, hamstring curl, and tuck it in. So you have the option here again, count them out, eight or 15 reps, or eight to 15 reps, it's not eight or 15. You can also range in between that. Or another good one too for this is maybe take it to the 60 second mark, the 45 second mark, and then recover from there. It just depends how you're doing. Remember, we have three rounds of this. So you wanna make sure that energy level is where it needs to be. So we're at the 45 second mark. I'm gonna just do a couple more. And remember, we wanna make sure we're not getting too overheated, so make sure there is some airflow where you're working out and uh, you're not feeling too crazy. Good, 30 second mark there. I'm gonna give it a break. Whoo, oop, I'm 
Okay. Um, yeah. I was saying something about the third trimester. Oh yeah, um, it's harder to breathe. <laughs> I am curious how it's going for you. Tell me about all the things. I love to hear about it. It's a miracle at the end of the day, right? So our bodies are doing what it needs to do. All right, other side when you're ready, right leg up, reach, hamstring curl, and back in. Good. Remember, this is also a sneaky little core exercise. So you want to make sure that those hips are stable, they're in alignment, our shoulders aren't collapsing, our elbows aren't compromised. We're strong. We are strong. <laughs> Good work, friends. Lift, hamstring curl, and right back in. I also forgot to mention that these fabric bands are nice because I can put this on my thigh and they're sticking on. If you have one of the plastic ones, which I used to have, you might want to put this opposite one under your knee, which is potentially too late for me to tell you that. <laughs> but better late than never, right? Good, I'm gonna do one more and then we're gonna break right there. That is the end of our first round. Well, 25 seconds, it'll be the end of our first round. And we're gonna take a one minute break. So take your time. If you're going, keep going. Otherwise, you can take this band off. Yay. <laughs> grab a sip of water, grab whatever you need. I'm gonna crawl towards you, get my water. Mm. Oh my. We actually have side flank hip dips. You guys, I'm totally mom braining today. Hands are under your shoulders, knees are out. You're gonna give me one hip dip and one reach. I'm so sorry. I was like, should I refilm this? No, we're just gonna keep going. This is very real. I apologize. We are doing this for 90 seconds and then we have a break. So with this exercise, maybe around the 45 second mark, we switch sides. Totally up to you. Again, you choose. <laughs> I'm dying, this is the most realistic video. Okay, we're at 45 seconds, go ahead and switch to the other side. <laughs> Lift up, here. One hip dip and one reach, good. It's okay, right, you're not mad at me? Okay. <laughs> if you're doing this video multiple times, look at, like let's say you do it like once per week or something, hello, welcome back to the circus. <laughs> Again, remembering not to dome or cone here. So really controlled in that core. Take your time, breathe. And again, eight to 15, you don't have to do the 45, 45 split. You choose. And now time. <laughs> awesome, friends. Now we have one minute to actually grab water and uh, reset ourselves back to standing. I was looking at my timer and I was like, why does it say 90 seconds instead of 60? I'm so confused. And I was like, oh my gosh, we have another move. It happens, my friends. All right, when you're ready, we have about 30 seconds. Take your time. Uh, come to standing and we're gonna get set up for our side lunge to reverse lunge. This time I'm going to hold one of my weights because that's what's calling to me. And um, just add a little bit. And then in the third round, I'll do both of them because as of right now, I decided that was a good idea. <laughs> but you do you, feet are about hip width apart. Let's go ahead and get started, ready, let's go. One side lunge and one reverse. There we go, we're gonna go like this, there. Woo, nice. Keep breathing. Remember to give yourself a goal before you move into these exercises with those repetitions. And then see how you feel once you're there, okay? We are currently growing bones, so. Um, <laughs> There's a lot going on. 
There's a lot going on. Growing bones. Remember to keep that chest really, really proud. We're not hunched over. We are strong, strong peeps. Good. About 35 seconds left. I think I'm gonna do one more each side. Good. And then we'll get set up with our bands. Whee! All right. We have about 16 seconds to get these on. Can we do it without tipping? Yes, we can. <laughs> our first exercise is our sidewalks to our squats. Ready? Let's go. Two walks and then up and down. Amazing. I am so proud of you for being here. I am so glad you are crushing it. Even if you might feel you're like, oh, I used to be able or I could or I should get that out your head. <laughs> you are here right now and you are working hard. You're taking care of yourself. You're strengthening your body and you're gonna be grateful you did this. Baby will be grateful you did this. I'm just proud of you. It's not easy. Okay, we're at the 41 second mark and I'm gonna take myself to 30 and then set up for the next exercise. But you do you. Don't forget. Whew. Okay. Coming down. I think so oftentimes, especially if you were the type to like work out really, really hard before you got pregnant, there's an adjustment period. But you know what? Work with what you got. Any movement is good movement, and I firmly believe that. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Choose a leg, any leg. Ready, let's go. One lift, one hamstring curl, and a tuck. Yes. Love this for us. <laughs> Again, we're here for 90 seconds, just this one side. So you choose how you want to do this 90 seconds. You know what's a good technique as well? Is you can be like, all right, first round, I go for 30. Next round, I do 35, as in seconds. And then next one, I do 40, maybe 45, something like that. Really manageable, sets your expectations, but allows you to grow with some goals as you move. But you know, if today's a day where you're like, I can't even believe I turned on this video, then that's fine. Just do, just do you. <laughs> All right, we're at the 30 second mark and I'm gonna use this as a time to recoup, reset, because 60 seconds of that booty burner is a burning. <sighs> nice deep breaths. Roll those shoulders back a little bit. If this is constricting for your legs and your blood flow, blood flow, you can come onto your knees and allow that to cycle through. All right, other side, let's go. Leg up, extend, and back in. Also, very important, are you breathing? Yes, you are, I really hope you are. I hope we're all breathing. <laughs> Good work, my friends. Shoulders are over wrists. Belly button is pulled back towards baby. And we're feeling strong, yeah? We're doing good. The important part about breathing is it really sets you up as well for birth and labor. We want to make sure that we are aware of our breath, that we're able to use it to our advantage. When you're breathing, your blood is flowing, your body is moving, it is oxygenating, all important things. All right, 30 second mark. This is where I'm gonna take that break to reset for one more move. 
<laughs> I did not forget this time. I wonder how many of you yelled at the screen in the last set and was like, I think we have one more. I'm pretty sure we definitely have one more. <laughs> You're right. All right, we have two sides within this 90 second set. So you choose how to break it up when you're ready. Lift on up, one hip dip, and one reach. Good. If this combination of movements, like the hip dip and the reach, you're just like, it's a lot going on, you can always just hold a static side plank, and that's okay too. You again want to make sure that your form is really strong, really good, because that's gonna set you up for success. Let's say your hand is out here further. There's less support here for your shoulder joint. Look at how much more stressed that is. So you wanna try to prevent any injury or spiciness while you still can. All right, let's go ahead and switch other sides if you haven't already. And let's even it out. Good work, my friends. Dip that hip, reach that arm. Nice work. We have about 20 seconds left. Keep breathing. Good, make sure to bring that belly button towards the spine. We're feeling strong, we're feeling graceful. A little dip, a little reach. <laughs> Three, two, and time. One minute break for reels, and then guess what? Only one round left. That's it. How exciting is that? And then we would have completed leg day together. Yay! <laughs> if you're looking for a good third trimester routine, this is great paired with the upper body workout, and then we also have our yoga to mix with it. It should be very like holistic, like I wanna just take care of you. Strength, mobility, all of the things, good for third trimester. Also, if you have any requests, let me know, let me know. Okay, so last round. This is the round where I said I'd pick up both weights. So here we are. <laughs> when you're ready, pull those shoulders back and down. Stand up tall. Our side lunges to reverse lunges. Let's go, last round. Woo! Yes. Take your time. Remember, with pregnancy, your center of gravity is a little bit different. <laughs> so you wanna make sure that you're working with it instead of against. Good. So something that just means slowing down, taking your time. Good. But all these movements are so great, especially in preparing you for birth and labor. It's it's a marathon. It's it's going to be different for everybody. But I love the idea that we took care of ourselves as best as we could whatever was in our control, and then whatever is not in our control, I'm just allowed to happen. <laughs> I'm gonna do one more, and then grab those bands. Woo! 20 second mark. This is how it feels for you guys to put on your shoes. <laughs> Because that's, sometimes when it comes to shoes, I'm like, they don't need to be tied. I'll do that when I'm done being pregnant. <laughs> walk to the side, and let's do our squat walks. Two walks, and come on up. Excellent work. Woo. Again, with this workout, it's not our typical hit. We're not going for major, major intensity, short burst, short period of time. We're going for controlled, strong, intentional movement, listening to our body. We wanna give ourselves time to work through these 
exercises. We're not just gonna blaze through them. Good, remember how when I was talking about these side lunges, that there's a tendency for knees to buckle in? There's a tendency here for that too. So make sure you press out those knees, yeah? Good. Woo! Awesome. I'm gonna do one more each side and then call it. <laughs> and call it into all fours. Amazing. I hope you're enjoying this workout so far. I definitely feel like my heart rate is in a good place. My legs are getting nice and worked. Um, but manageable so far. <laughs> All four is my friends. Choose a leg, any leg. Ready? Let's go. One lift and one hamstring curl. Good. Manage that breath. Manage your breathing. Remember, we're here for 90 seconds. You choose how you want this to look. You choose. You are in charge. You are in control. Listen to your body. It's going to tell you exactly what it needs. You just have to listen to it. And maybe sometimes it doesn't have anything to say, and you're like, okay, maybe we're good. <laughs> nice. Booties are feeling awesome. Again, make sure the rest of the body, the rest of the form is just as intentional, just as strong. Good. We are at the 30 second mark. I'm gonna call a break for myself right there. I seriously, I know I give you these eight to 15 reps. I cannot count and talk to you at the same time. <laughs> it's literally impossible. Just impossible. That's why I like having the timer because I know about where I'm at. Um, and I can feel. I'm like, okay, let's get to the other side to about the same burn. All right, friends, other side. Let's go. Lift and hamstring curl. The nice thing about the timing, too, it kind of tells you a rough range of where you are. Maybe there's a day where you're feeling strong and you're like, whoa, I did the whole 90 seconds. And there's another day where you're like, I'm a 30 second type today, and that's okay. But it lets you know exactly what you need. So if you're finding that you're tired, you're like, maybe today I take it chill and that's okay. And I will recover as I need. Maybe get another nap in, another. <laughs> maybe get a nap in. Look, if you do multiple naps, I, that's amazing. <laughs> um, but you know, it gives you a chance to check in. It tells you where you are. Good, keep breathing, friends. We only have one more after this, and then we're good. And for me, I'm calling it at 30 seconds. Woo! And then I'm gonna take this off, because we don't need it anymore. <laughs> All right, when you're ready-ish, we're gonna slowly make our way. We have about 10 more seconds into that side plank. Also, I wish I could show you outside. It is snowing, it is so beautiful. Um, it's like a little winter wonderland. All right, hands under shoulders, knees out, ready. Let's go, one dip and one reach. Good, again, your options. Choose your leg positioning, choose your arm positioning. And then also, um, static or moving, more or dynamic. Either one's fine. Sometimes the dynamicness is nice because it helps you really feel um, your body. You get like a little stretch, you get some motion. But sometimes static is good too. There's so many options. <laughs> All right, maybe about one more if you're doing it per time, and then let's go ahead and switch to the other side. Whew. Last one, my friends. We're almost there. Doesn't it feel good? We're new people. New, strong, empowered. We can do anything. <laughs> Good. 
Inhale down, exhale, reach. We have 17 seconds left. Good. Big breaths, friends. Work with your body. Work with it, don't work against it. Five more seconds. You got it. Three, two, and time. Woo! We did it! Yay! Lower body, core, check, check. Let's go ahead and do a nice little stretch here. When you're ready, take one ankle over the opposite thigh and then lift up to a nice little figure four stretch. This is getting crunchy. <laughs> At some point, I will run out of room. I'll keep that chest open, nice and proud. Good, nice strong breath. Awesome, and then go ahead and gently release. Switch other side, stretch out the glute. Very good, how are you feeling? Yeah, good, good I hope. <laughs> Let me know, I love when you comment, I love when you talk to me, so I know that you're here, that you're alive, um, and I love answering. <laughs> so let me know how you're feeling, how you're doing. And of course, if you have any other requests, go ahead and lift yourself up. Go ahead and bring the soles of your feet together, knees out wide. Find a little mini arch in the back, open the heart. Good, nice breath here. Amazing. And then go ahead and lean back again one more time and then take those legs out wider than the mat. And then go ahead and let them drop inwards, stretching out those hips again. Good, amazing. Bring it all the way back to the center. Roll those shoulders forward a couple times and then roll them back. Awesome, let's take three big breaths. Inhale, reach those arms up. And exhale, two more, reach. And exhale, last one, big reach. And hands to your heart, exhale. You did it! We crushed it, I'm so proud of you. You're amazing, I, just, I have no other words. I'm so grateful you're here. Again, any questions, comments, thoughts, pop them down below. Don't forget to subscribe and that's it. Have an amazing week and I'll see you soon. Bye.